Sensitivity is calculated by dividing the number of true positives by the total number of people with the condition. To help us understand this equation, we are going to imagine that a group of people are being tested for a condition. These white squares represent individuals without it, and the red squares represent individuals with it. This yellow line represents a cutoff level for a test. To the left of the line, the test turns negative, and to the right, it returns positive. Since sensitivity only takes into consideration people that have the condition, we are going to focus on the red squares. Now let's take a moment to look at the sample table in the top right corner. When calculating the sensitivity, we only need to use the column on the left. This column is used for people who have the condition. In the top box, we have the true positives, in the middle box, the false negatives, and on the bottom, the total number of people with the condition. Counting the squares, we find that there are 30 true positives, 3 false negatives, and 33 people in total with the condition. Now all that's left to do is enter the data into the equation. In doing so, we find that the sensitivity is 30 over 33, which is 91%. If the cutoff level for a positive test was shifted towards the normal value, then the number of true positives would increase. Thus, the condition would be detected in a greater percentage of patients that have it, and the sensitivity of the test would be higher. And conversely, if the cutoff level for a positive test was shifted away from the normal value, then less patients with the condition would test positive and the sensitivity of the test would decrease. So once more, sensitivity is calculated by dividing the true positives by the total number of patients with the condition. And the greater the proportion of true positives, then the greater the sensitivity of the test.